morning, Bobcats, and happy Thursday. Thank you for joining me this morning for WBLS Morning News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Thursday, March the 23rd, and it's special area, day four today. It looks to be a beautiful day, Bobcats. We're going to have some warmer weather today. We had a low of 55, a high of 81. It's going to be sunny skies. It may even get warmer than 81 tomorrow. I like it. Now, for lunch today, let's see what's cooking in the Buck Lake Cafeteria. We will be having oven fried chicken with cornbread. I'm going to tell you a little secret. When Miss Young was a little girl, oh, I love cornbread. I loved it with cracklings in it. If you don't know what cracklings are, you'll have to ask Miss Young or ask your teacher. You may also choose cheese and pretzel fondue. And you may choose from two veggies of mashed potatoes or Florida um, collard greens. You may choose either assorted fruit juice or Fresh Florida fruit and white chocolate or strawberry milk are always an option. Are you purring in the cafeteria using your very, very polite manners with every one of our grown-ups that is there to help you? I certainly hope so. We only have two birthdays today, but they're both very special people. If we would like to wish Miss Hartsfield, our music teacher, a happy birthday. If you see her out and about today, make sure and wish Miss Hartsfield a happy birthday birthday. Also in Ms. Munoz's class, Court is celebrating his birthday. Happy birthday to you, Court. I hope you've had a great day in kindergarten. Does your face look like this or like this? Did you bring your smile today for your class pictures? Listen, it is class picture day. It is Bring picture day for individual pictures so you will be getting a picture taken by yourself as well as one with your class. Make sure you're showing your very best smile in your class pictures for sure. You don't want to get those class pictures back and look like a grumpy pot, do you? It's not cute. So make sure you're giving your best smile. This will be something you look back 
on forever. I have my second grade pic class picture here in the library. I'll put it out on the uh, library uh, circulation desk if you want to stop by and see it. So it's something you'll keep for a long, long time. So we look forward to seeing those. Here's a kindness quote for you that's also going to make you think a little bit. A kind word is like spring. Hmm, that's a little deep. A kind word is like spring. I want you to think about what that means. I'm not going to talk about it too much right now, but I want you to think it. How could a kind word be like springtime? Now, we are going to have the opportunity, actually, to show kindness to our community in a great way. It was something I, Ms. Young had been thinking about, and uh, I talked to one of our special uh, volunteers, and she actually told me it was in the work. So we'll be short sharing more about how you could help with some kindness in our community. Listen, this summer, Camp Invention is back. It's if you took Makerspace and Robotics Club and STEM Club and you mesh them all together, that's Camp Invention. If you have any questions, you can talk to Miss Perez about that. We hope you all have a great day. That's all for today. Remember to purr, be prepared, be upstanding, be responsible, and always be respectful. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.